Bonjour et bienvenue à uh, Learn French with Alexa. Today, folks, we are going to learn uh, more words on la maison. So I've titled this La Maison, deuxième partie, house, second part of part two. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. La maison, and that is the house. La maison. La moquette, that's the carpet. La moquette. Le radiateur. And that's the radiator. Le radiateur. Le couloir. That's the corridor. Le couloir. Have a look at the word. Remember to repeat after me. Les rideaux. Ou le rideau, if you wanted to talk about only one curtain. Les rideaux. That's the curtains. La cheminée, that's the fireplace. La cheminée. La porte, that's the door. La porte. Ok, have a look. La porte. Le toit, and that's the roof. Le toit. La salle, and that's the room. Any room in the house is a Salle, ok? We do call it pièce as well, la pièce, ok? Les escaliers, les escaliers, and that's the stairs. Les escaliers, très bien. Now think of escalator, if you can remember escalier, ok? An escalade means climbing, ok? Le mur, that's the wall. Le mur. La fenêtre, la fenêtre, and that's the window. La fenêtre, le plafond, that's the ceiling. Le plafond, le sol, and that's the uh, floor, ok? Le sol. Okay, let's have a look at these words one more time, but remember to repeat after me and remember you can watch this video over and over and over again. Here we go. La maison. That's the house. La maison. La moquette. That's the carpet. La moquette. Le radiateur. It's quite a hard word to say. Radiateur. And that's the radiator. Le radiateur. Le couloir. That's the corridor. Le couloir. Les rideaux. Okay, have a look. It has E-A-U-X at the end. Okay, because it's a plural. When we are using E-A-U, it's usually an X at the end, actually. Always an S at the end of the plural version. Okay, so le rideau without an X. X. And les rideaux with an X, okay, plural. That means uh, curtains. Le, la cheminée, pardon, le, la, la cheminée, and that's the fireplace. La porte, the door. La porte. Le toit, that's the roof. Le toit, though it has a T, we do not pronounce the T, by the way. La salle, and that's the room in the house, but I also used the word pièce early on. La pièce, okay? Les escaliers, escaliers, and that's the stairs. Le mur, that's the wall, le mur. La fenêtre, that's the window. La fenêtre, okay? Now, the ceiling is le plafond. Okay, we do not pronounce the D at the end of this word. We don't say plafond, we say plafond. Et le sol is the floor. Le sol. Okay? So if you wanted to say something such as I open the window, you would say J'ouvre la fenêtre. J'ouvre la fenêtre dans la maison. In the house. If you wanted to say I close the door, you would say, je ferme la porte. Je ferme la porte de 
la salle de bain. I'm closing the bathroom door. Je ferme la porte de la salle de bain, par exemple. OK? You could say as well, le radiateur est dans le salon. The radiator is in the living room. OK? So try to use the other part of the house which I have recorded already and make a sentence using these features of the house and the room in the house. OK? Yes? OK. Uh, that's it for me. Have a look at the list again. Remember to learn it, okay? You've got the pronunciation. I've given it to you. Try to make a sentence using these words. And why don't you leave a comment, okay? And I always answer the comments because I love talking to you. That's it for me. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to be kept updated by what I post all the time, okay? And um, I shall see you soon, I hope. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bisous, bisous.